Hey guys, it's September and I'm very excited because I feel like I can finally decorate for fall. So I'm starting to just get things out this week. I'll probably do the full fall explosion this weekend when I'm not working. And if you're just catching this vlog, I'm working at home, so I'm starting to get things sorted out and kind of getting things like put where I think I want them. And then I'll do the full decoration this weekend. And yes, I'll do a home decor tour. Um, someone's already asked me that on Instagram, but I'm just really super excited about fall and having things to look forward to and also just decorating the house because it brings me a lot of joy. And I really enjoy having all the decorations in the house. Like I feel like this whole season is my favorite because we go from fall where we have all the Halloween and fall decorations. And then we go into like Christmas season. I'm basically gonna on November 1st put up my Christmas tree. And so I feel like the house is so full and we have lighted trees and it's just very happy. So I'm very excited that we are at this time of year. And especially with being home all the time, the kids are here for virtual school. We're all working at home. It's going to be nice to have just a little bit of extra happy around and it makes me happy. Hopefully it makes the rest of the family happy too. So um, I have shared a couple fall decor hauls already, but I am planning on ordering a few more. So I found some fun things on kirklands.com, fun things on michaels.com, and also a couple of things from Grandin Road. So whenever the items that I order get here, I'll try to share those in the vlogs and try to put them out around. Try not to go too crazy. But I am ordering a few extra things because we're here and it's happy and you know we're saving lots of money on childcare and eating out for lunch quite frankly so um, you know that's basically become my decor fun. So let me show you our fall tree which arrived yesterday. So this arrived yesterday and I went ahead and put it out and I will put this lamp out and Oh, you're gonna turn it on for me? Thank you. Hello. Yes, it's very nice and bright, and it's it almost functions like a lamp. So I always put this lamp up whenever I put the Christmas tree out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up um, with my decor items that I have set out in the garage. I think the kids are pretty excited about this little tree and I will start getting my regular decor off of here and then start working on getting some of the holiday decor out. So I'll pretty much take all of this stuff off and then I have um, Halloween stuff that actually goes all over that. And this tree is pretty cool because all of these little lights are LED lights and then these are kind of made to go over and um, they just kind of pop off. I'm trying not to break it. So that's just like a little LED light on there. Mm. So it's just nice and bright and sparkly. I should know. When I bumped into it once, one fell off, and I took a long time to find out. <laughs> we had to do some hunting, because some of them did fall off when they first arrived. So we were trying to go around and find, oh you know, where they went on there. But this was from Amazon, so I'm super happy about that. The price did get really ridiculous and out of hand, because when they had it on there, it was like, about half of what they have it listed on right now. Um, so I was able to get an open box one and get a really good price on it and you know it's in fine condition. So you may just keep an eye out if you want one of these but don't wanna pay the double inflated price for one. And then yesterday I found these fun books at Marshall's. These are Ray Dunn and I don't know if this is where they're gonna stay but I just went ahead and put them out right here um, while I was starting to get these things out. And this little cauldron was from the dollar spot at Target. So I don't, I have not decorated. This is not how this is gonna stay but I just put that tree out yesterday um, for a little bit of happy and we will start working on this this week. So step one will be getting rid of all the regular stuff and stowing it away and then we can start pulling out all of the Halloween and fall items. Isabella is on lunch break from her class and I don't have a whole lot of Ray Dunn mugs for Halloween but I did get all of these mugs at the top where it says like trick or treat and the bats and I'll put a spell on you. I got those and then down the next level I just have some regular pumpkins. So I'll start changing out everything like this little coffee station over here and I'll change that to more of a fall decor and um, I'm very into bats this year, so I guess you can expect to see 
cute bats, not scary bats, but more bat decor is some of the stuff that I've ordered. I've made this little mask area like a little holding area for some of the holiday stuff that I'm going to put out. So this isn't going to stay like this, but I just traded yesterday um, for one of the canisters that I wasn't using and she had this cozy, which is more Christmas, but so cute, the little gnome. I got cozy and also this Hocus Pocus mug. I'm super excited about this. It looks like a little cauldron. How cute is that? And says Hocus Pocus. So I'll obviously put like probably this kind of stuff in two different areas. I think I showed in the vlog from the other day these items that I got from Dollar General. I'm really excited about their decor this year. They have, they have really stepped it up. I mean, I've always been able to find cute stuff there. My mom's gotten me cute stuff there a lot uh, because she's pretty close to one. So I'm planning on going back and looking at their fall decor too because they were just starting to put it out at ours. They didn't have a lot, but they had more of the Halloween stuff. And then we got this cute little, Natalie calls this boo at um, home goods. It's just a little ghost. And so I don't know where it's going to go yet, but it's really kind of cute and it kind of wiggles. It's, you know, on a little spring, I think underneath there. So <laughs> these are some of the items that I have in waiting to put out here. So for this area right here, I'll probably pull this down underneath and just put like a pumpkin. And then I've got some different, um, decor sticks that I'll put in that tall vase that I got and then I've got to clean off this area and I'll change this over as well so it's just beach items right now on this tiered tray. I'll take all that off, I'll just stow it away in these drawers and we'll make that Halloween as well. So you're gonna help too, you're gonna help me decorate. Um, so little bit by little bit and then for Christmas I actually have a wreath and stuff that I hang up here so I have been keeping an eye out on whether or not I want to change out some of the pictures for Halloween which is not something that I've done before but obviously like I said this year is a different year <laughs> So one of the first things I can do pretty quickly is changing out my different Scentsy warmers from my regular ones that are around the house to some of my pumpkin ones. I also have a Scentsy order on the way to me with some of the new fall items, but these are some of the ones from last year. And mainly what I ordered this year was primarily uh, Halloween items because I have a lot of general pumpkin items. This one is Pick of the Patch from last year, and this one is Rustic Pumpkin from last year. I absolutely love both of these for kind of a all around fall time period. So I think I'm going to use the rustic pumpkin in my office. And this is what that one looks like. And then this one's a multi-tier pumpkin. And I'm going to use pick of the patch out here where I have one here in our kitchen area. So I'm going to get these out and then put the regular ones away. So here is the rustic pumpkin one, and here is pick of the patch. So I just had a few hours of work meetings to take care of, but I'm taking a little break right now and I'm starting to pull in just a little bit more fall stuff, um, a little bit by little bit. And I think tomorrow night I am going to an event. So, and it's like, you know, socially distanced and all that good stuff. But um, I'm going to be doing that, so I'll probably take off a couple hours in the afternoon and maybe get started on some decorating. I think that's my plan right now. So you'll probably see a decorate with me video tomorrow. Uh, but anyhow, it's been a very productive afternoon, which has been great. Um, I've got a lot of uh, things sorted out and some work done. So I'm going to try to finish up some things and then it's going to be dinner time here shortly and I might try to get just a few more decorations out tonight. This is the tough part because everything's always a hot mess in the transition period. So I just have that stuff still sitting over there waiting. It's got to get, those are like the pillow covers and everything. I'm going to go ahead and put those on tomorrow and change out the placemats. And then once things start going out, it starts coming together. But I pulled this little rose gold pumpkin inside. This is something that I've had for a few years. I think I got this at Home Goods. So I'm just going to put that on that side. Um, and this will probably all change, but what I kind of do is I kind of get everything out and I put it where I think it might go and then I just kind of let it simmer for a little while and then sometimes I kind of move things around. So anyhow, this one, it kind of goes with my office since I have quite a bit of pink in here. I don't do pink a lot of areas of the house, but I feel like I can kind of have it in here. So that's why I use this pumpkin in my office. So the mail just arrived and I got something from eBay and I think it was probably the 
most interesting box I've ever been sent for an eBay transaction. So let's open it up and see if it's still in one piece. Okay, so it looks like it's good. I mean, it fit perfectly down in there, but I got this cute little pumpkin uh, that says spooky, and I'm gonna use this to decorate in the main areas of the house, but for right now, I'll just set it right here. So I have not been able to find anything like that at my local stores, so I wanted to go ahead and order that on eBay. So that is my first Ray Dunn pumpkin that I've gotten. And then this is something from Amazon Prime. I'm going to open this up as well. I'm excited about this. This is a cute little tea towel and it says it's the most wonderful time of year and it has a little witch on it. So cute. Let me show you this too. So this is on my fall Amazon shopping list as well. I thought this was really super cute with the stars and the little witch on there. I'll try to link that down below. Um, it just has some of the fun items that I've gotten around my house and just some fun decor items on there. But I thought this would be cute to put on either the dishwasher or on the oven. And it's just kind of cute and fun. So anyhow, those are my two Halloween arrivals for the day. So um, I think it's about time to start decorating around here. <laughs> yeah. So tonight I made uh, some fish and corn for dinner real quick. We're going to have dinner and then it is going to be time for the end of our evening already. Today went really super that quick. It for our evening. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And I think tomorrow is going to be the day where I'm going to pull out the bins and start getting more of the fall decorating out. So we'll be sharing kind of a decorate with me tomorrow. And you guys can see where I start putting things out and then when I have everything out that I'm going to put out, which will probably be the following week, I'll do a full home decor tour and share all of that. So thanks for watching today and I will see you in another video very soon. Have a great day!